Hi there, Intergoes back with another ZX Spectrum programming video. And today's video is going to be about designing your own user graphics character. Uh, and then we're going to put that into a little program called Spiders. Then I'm going to show you how to mix colours to make it look like there's more colours on the spectrum. And then finally we're going to show you how to use the read and data commands. So first of all, if I just load up Spiders, the program I've already written into the here. So on the spectrum there are user um, graphics which you can make yourself. Um, there's all the ones which are already pre-programmed into the memory of the um, spectrums, like all the letters here. But also if you remember uh, there are other characters as well which we used in the randomizer program where it brings up um, different shaped blocks which you can then change the colour of and make them flash and do stuff like that. You can actually program 21 of your own graphic characters into the spectrum and save them into the memory of the computer. Each graphic is made up of uh, 64 pixels and that's an 8 by 8 square which is the size of this flash and square here. And The best way to design a user defined graphic is to get a bit of graph paper make it 8 by 8 squares big and then you fill in um, the squares which you want to be coloured in in ink and then the ones you don't fill in are going to be the colour of the paper in the back, uh, background. And then to program them into the spectrum um, you have to use the poke user command. So what poke does is it saves the data into the um, spectrum's memory in a um, designated area. And this user bit is saying that you're assigning it to a user character, which can be any letter through from the letter A to the letter U. We're going to use the letter S because it represents a spider, because we're going to make a spider character. And then this BIN is binary, so we're going to have uh, a binary code assigned to that user um, graphic. And as it's uh, it's saved in um, bytes and a byte is 8 bits of uh, binary code so if you can see here there's 8 numbers and um, each line of the graphic has to be put in so we got essentially this is 0 then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and they will be all placed above one another to make the um, graphic so as you can see this is the first line of the code and the zeros are the paper and the ones are the ink so uh, two gaps and then there'll be four filled in spaces and two gaps and then each line will go down and it makes the picture of the spider now to get the um, graphics key to work you have to press the on this fuse emulator you press the left shift key and 9 but at the moment if I do that and press S it just has an S but if we run the program, it says that it's run it. It won't actually show anything, but it's saved it into the memory of the spectrum. Now if I press um, the graphics key, shift 9. Now if I press the S, you get the little spider, which is quite cool. Uh, which is all programmed here, as you can see. And that's uh, what that does. Uh, like, like I said, you can have 21 of these programmed into the Spectrum. If we open up the next program where you can use that, so Spiders 2, and what, what I've done is you've still got all the um, program bit in there, making up the spider character, and then I've made a little program with it. So I'm going to make the border 1 paper zero clear the screen and then we're going to print in a random ink from zero to seven uh, the spider character and then this semicolon means it'll print another one next to it as we go back to 30 because we'll go to and it'll just keep printing these so if we run that
and there we go. And that's how you make your own little um, user graphic. So that's quite a simple little program. Next one we're going to do uh, is called Mix. Now what this program does is, as you know, there's only eight colors on the spectrum, but by making a sprite of um, little dots next to each other, so when we're programming it into the user-defined graphic, we do zero, uh, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, next line, zero, one, zero, one, and then it repeats on itself to make this sort of checkerboard effect. So we've done that using the poke user command, like in the last program and it's using it as character A and uh, before that we put 4 x equals 0 to 6 and it steps twice so it's going to go through this um, in steps of 2 so 3 times this is going to happen so the first line would be that and then uh, the next one so bin plus 1 will be that then it will repeat through so bin 2 will be this one, bin 3, until we've got uh, all 8 lines, one above each other. And then we can print that on the screen and um, go to 50 so it fills the whole screen up with this. Now if we set the ink to red and the paper to yellow, because there's little dots next to each other, little pixels, it will make it look like the screen is orange. So if I run that... And there we go. This is a way that the Spectrum programmers back in the day used to create lots of different colours. So as you can see, unless you zoom right in, that looks like an orange screen. It's a bit dotty, but um, it is a way of getting around, getting lots of different colours on the Spectrum. So you could essentially make an orange pattern. I hope that wasn't too uh, rushed through, but I just want to do these ones really quickly. Next one is spiders free and this one is just showing you how to do the same sort of graphics but using the read and data commands so we're making the same spider as we did before but instead of doing each line of binary code we're putting that all into one string of data here now the way binary works because we're using eight numbers of binary what you would have is eight sort of if you think of them as uh, zeros and ones if you had a a binary works is each column goes up in doubles so the first column is worth one the second column is worth two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four hundred twenty eight then if you've got a one in the first box that's worth a value of one if you've got one in the second box, it's a value of two. So if you've got a one in box one and two, that's worth three. If you've got a one in just the four box, that's a four. And then to do a five, you'd have to have box three and box one. And that's sort of how binary works. So it adds up from right to left until you get right up to um, all the boxes filled with ones. And then you'd add that all together. Now a way to work out binary, if you can't work that out yourself, you can do uh, print bin and then you can type in the numbers you had before so say for this spider you had 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 instead of saying right that's 1 that's 2 so this is 4 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 what's that equal if you type this in it will do it for you 16 so that's what the total is of that. Then you can figure out the next line by doing the similar thing. So you do uh, 0, 1, 1, like that. So that's the next line of the spider. And instead of adding these all up, so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, add them all together, it just works it out for you. And then what you would do is you'd put that all in the data here. So that was the first 60. That's one, two, six for the next line. 
and then the next line, next line, next line. So here's all eight values of the binary data. So if you then did it this way, you want this to run through eight times. So we've got four x equals zero to seven. So it will add one each time till it gets over seven. Now this command read, what that will do, is it will look for the next uh, number in the data series. So it's a read and make that number y. So if you go down here, it looks for uh, data and it will take this first one of 60. Then we've got that poke user command and set it to s for spider. Take x, which is going to be 0 at the start, so you know the bin is going to be 0. And then the binary code is going to be this 60. Run through it again. It'll do this user uh, define graphics as um, s again, but this time it'll be plus 1. And the binary will be 126. One, it'll be plus 2, the binary will be 219. And once it's done all that, it'll have all eight of these binary values to make up that spider um, diagram. So if you run this, it does exactly the same as it did before. So then if we use the graphics of S, we can now do that spider again. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I know a lot of people don't really understand binary um, numbers, but hopefully that makes it sort of bit more simple that you know it starts off with one on that box then two and you add them together as they go up in size so if you've got any questions on that please leave them in the comments below remember to put a thumbs up on the video and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching